there, there's thing called, oh, it was that person's number, meaning it just so happened that their life correlated to a certain number. Like it was, it's called, uh, they say, they say, means it is that person's number, meaning that was, that was, how do I put this in English? There's like, there's so many like these words in Vietnamese that I, I don't even know how to explain it to English, but to say that someone's number is saying that is that person's life path, you know? And we have a thing called numerology where if you have certain numbers that in your life that add up certain things, like you add your birth date, your month, year, it adds up to certain numbers and those numbers usually signify a certain theme in your life. My numerology number is four and four for me is a lot of reset new beginnings, clearing stuff, breakthroughs, death, like all sorts of wonderful stuff, uh, which is very true with the themes of my life. And so we think numbers are everywhere, right? And so we have money. Money is everywhere. It's in our clothes, it's in our house, it's in, money is everywhere. Because money is everywhere, we think that we can blame money for our situation. You know, we think that the reason why my parents fought was because there was never enough money. The reason why my husband and I fight is going to be about money. The reason why I have fights with my kid about why we can't have that or why we shouldn't get that is because it's about money. It's like there's three cameras going on. I don't even know <laughs> which camera to look at. Um, but the truth is money is a number. It's simply a description. So if you say, oh, that person's number is up. Or, oh, it's that person's life path. That is their number of their life path. Or, oh, that person has that number in their bank account. Or, oh, that shirt has that number. You know, that's the price tag of that. We can, we can see it as it's just a part of our life. And there is no right. There is no wrong. There is like, it's like saying, my parents fought about money, so money is bad. When they could easily be fighting about time or they could easily be fighting about food and what to feed the kids or they could be fighting about like how to raise the kids or whatever their topic of choice is right but for some reason we think that if we <laughs> talk with a client and she thought that if she would just and i i so get it because i was there just so recently is if I'm in denial about the number. I'm denial. I'm in, if I don't look at the numbers, if I don't look at the situation, if I don't look at the number in my bank account, if I don't look at how much I'm spending, then surely the problems are just going to disappear. Like there's not going to be any problems left, right? And that couldn't be further from the truth. And actually, I've learned time and time and time again, if you do not, um, if you do not, if you resist something and if you do not master something you and you think, oh, I'm just going to ignore it and I see I'm covering my eyes. So it's like peekaboo. I, I don't see it. So that means it doesn't exist. Like that's like that's the very thing you can do to really, <laughs> really kick yourself in the ass. Because when you pretend like something doesn't exist and you keep resisting it, the multiverse, Heavenly Father, whatever your words of choices is like. Your choice of words are like there is the multiverse is so adamant about your soul's expansion and growth. You came to this planet and you set an intention and you say stuff like, you know, in this lifetime, when I reincarnate, I'm going to have money breakthroughs. I'm going to have complete freedom and also in the realm of financial freedom. And then when the topic comes up of freedom and financial freedom and the blocks that you said that you came here to have breakthroughs about you start hiding and you're like you know what i think if i hide and i don't talk about it and i haven't pretend it doesn't exist then it's just going to like magically work itself out in fact i think if i walk away from it yes yes that's what i'll do i'm gonna walk away from it and just walk away. I'm just going to shut the door, cut it off, and everything's going to be fine, right? I'm just going to get a divorce. I'm just going to, I know that must be the problem, right? If I, if I divorce myself from that situation, I divorce myself from that thing, then it's going to go away. <laughs> but the thing is, you said that when you came 
into this reincarnation in this human form on this planet is for you, <laughs> Sandy knows it all too well, is you set the intention that you are going to have massive breakthroughs in the area of money. Is something you dealt with in a previous life? Is something you dealt with the life before that? Is something your parents dealt with? Is something you know so many people deal with? In fact, you even tell yourself, I'm going to have such massive breakthroughs in the area of money that I'm also going to coach other people <laughs> on how to have massive breakthroughs in money. But first, before I do that, I probably should get really clear on how money works. And then because, because you are so powerful, because you are an amazing powerhouse of infinite power, the multiverse complies, the Heavenly Father complies, you pray and you ask, Heavenly Father, dear multiverse, could you please send me help and assistance on how I could have massive breakthrough in the area of the energy of money? Because that's what I came here to do. Fine, I'll look at it. Tell me what I have to do. And so that's when you have all these opportunities to come. And all of a sudden, all these doors open up. And all of a sudden, your life coach says, hey, let's do this thing together where we can um, look at this money block that you're looking to break through. Or... I'm offering a smash your money block course. Are you in? Are you interested? And it only costs a dollar. And so you do this work, you find it, you start having some massive transformation because you set out here to have massive transformation in your money block and you start to see other people suffering from the very same thing you suffer from except it's like on steroids and you so get that in order for you to even help yourself and to help other people have these blocks is for you to experience yourself, to get a taste of it, and then you're on your way to helping others transform their life and block their money blocks. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So <laughs> I have this, had this really interesting conversation and it so reminded me of myself and it was, I'm just going to pretend like the money doesn't exist. Like I'm not going to look at my bank statement. I'm not going to look at I know how much money I earn, but I'm not going to look at the W-2. I'm not going to look at my payroll stub. I'm not going to see how much overtime I got or if I'm salary. I'm not going to check to see how much I got paid on my travel, how much did I get reimbursed on my travel and expense report. I'm not going to check how much I'm getting reimbursed for my company car. I'm not going to check to see how much they're taking out for my insurance. I'm not going to check how much is going to my 401k. Just, just tell me that we're not broke. That's all I'm asking. Just tell me that I, 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 I make money and then when I know what I'm going to do, I know, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to save. I'm going to save every single penny and I'm not going to spend any of it. And surely if I don't spend any money and I don't keep track of how much money I have, then when I look in there, there should be some money, right? Right. That's, that's, that's the ultimate solution. That's how I'm going to solve my problem about money. <laughs> and that was kind of how I was, I was looking at it. Like I was so terrified of money. And I was so unhealthy with money that whenever my husband would say, I think we need to talk, I would think, oh my gosh, I know what he's going to talk about. He's going to ask me about that money I spent. Or he's going to ask me about like why I spent so much money. Or he's going to ask me like, hey, what was this expense about? And like, and I have no idea. Like I'm always living on edge. I have no idea like, like, I don't know what I spent it on. I don't know where the money went. I don't, I have no idea. Like, because I didn't look at the bank statement. And I don't remember. And I didn't write it down. And it's just a credit card, right? It's not like you have cash or your money. You have 20 bucks and you spend the 20 bucks and it's gone. You're like, you're on credit card mode now. And so you're like, I just kept spending it. I kept using it. I just hope there's some money in there. And then the money gets automatically deducted out. So unless the bank calls me and tells me there's no money in my account, surely everything's okay. In the meantime, you have like this audacious dream of moving to the West Coast and you're like, also, later, I'm going to be utterly transformed and I'm going to have millions of dollars and I'm going to make so much money, it doesn't matter how much money I make. <laughs> you're like living in this like weird, warped, bizarro world where you think if you don't track your money, you don't know how much money you make, you don't track how you're spending your money, Somehow, you're going to have massive breakthroughs in money. You're going to make millions of money, millions of dollars of money. And you're also going to somehow, magically, um, fulfill your life dream of living in your 
dream state or country or city or whatever without having any idea how much any of this costs. Like it's, it's just going to fall into place because you manifested it because you prayed about it because you like set these affirmations and these these intentions <laughs> every day without doing any work or or here's the best part here here's a good one i'll say well i don't have time to talk about it right now i don't have time to think about it right now but the next time i get a pay stub i'm gonna look at it or when i do my tax returns I, i'll do it oh wait my husband does my tax returns or um, you know, when, uh, when we budget, yeah, when we set a budget for the next year, I'm going to look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's when I'm going to look at it or, or like me, right? Oh, this is the best example. I look at one credit card statement and then I happen to forget the Amazon credit card. Oh, and I also forgot about the Gap credit card. Oh, oh yeah, and there's that Target credit card, the red card that gives you the 5% discount. I forgot to look at that one too. And oh crap, I opened a business, so I have a Freedom Chase card for my business, and then I have a regular, um, you know, Southwest card to earn Southwest points for my other card. And so like, even though I pretend and I say I'm looking at it, I'm looking at one credit card. And then I don't even know like how much I'm spending. Like, it's like you, like you're not, it's like you're being so half-assed about it, right? You won't even like, you won't pull it all at once. You won't sit down. You won't pull out the bank statement. In fact, you don't even know what your login for your bank statement is. You have to go ask your husband like, hey, what is the login? Or what is the website? Or I don't even know who we bank with. <laughs> it might be even as ridiculous as that. And so then you think, and you think like, you don't even realize this, right? Like until you talk with your life coach or you talk with your best friend or you talk with a friend over lunch and you realize shit's hitting the fan. Your life is in shambles emotionally. You, you, you're falling apart. You think something is wrong. You're scared shitless about money. You're scared anytime the topic of money comes up. You, you, you don't even want to talk about money. If, if money was a person and you were talking about money, you would be like, I, I, I know it exists and I would like to be in a relationship with money, but um, I, I don't know it very well and I'm kind of scared of it and I just hope things just work out as if in any of your relationships, they just work out without you putting forth any effort at all. <laughs> as if, if at all that were possible. That's, that's what you're saying, like if you were in a relationship with money. And <laughs> everything... Everything just came to a head today. And I realized, oh my gosh, like if I'm if I'm that delusional about money and, and my friend or my clients and other people are even the same or more so, then <laughs> when are we going to like finally sit down, pull all the stuff up, get some courage? Or you don't even have to have courage. You just operate in a zone of being completely uncomfortable. And look, look at what there is to see. Look at your expenses and see where your money is going. <laughs> really, really look at where your money is going. Did you, and look at your pay stub. Like today, I was like, okay, this weekend, I'm gonna look at every single thing that comes in. So then I pulled my W-2s. I pulled it from this year, from last year, from the year before. I pulled over my um, my pay stub. I pulled up the credit card statements as all the history I can see. Like I am going to sit down and look at it this weekend and really look at it. Not just half-ass look at it where I'm only looking at one statement and think this is how much I take home, but to really, really look at it. Look at the pay stub, look at the money that flows into your checking account, look at what's getting deducted automatically out Wait a minute, what is what is this expense I see every month or on a weekly basis? Oh crap, I forgot to cancel that account that I never use. Like like you're you're bleeding money and you don't even know because like you won't even sit down and look at it or talk about it or like you're not putting forth any single effort whatsoever to do what the thing you came to do, which is you told yourself, you promised yourself that when I reincarnate into this lifetime, I'm going to have massive breakthroughs with money. I'm gonna have complete financial freedom and I'm going to break all my money blocks. And if you said that and you did, then what are you doing with your head buried under 
in the sand, hoping that everything is going to fall into place. It's, it's time, man. It's time. It's time, woman. It's time for you to stop it. It's not after something happens and, oh, I'll do it when I do this. Or after this part, then I'll do this. The time is now. Get all that stuff together. Sit down at the table. Look at what there is to see. Put it in a spreadsheet and see what there really is to see. And then, as needed, have a conversation with whoever is involved with you. It might be your spouse. It might be your kids. It might be anybody that has a role in this money situation. Maybe it's a mortgage you're paying to your mom that you're like, maybe like, like we were, we were thinking about like phone bills and I wasn't even thinking like, oh my gosh, like I pay for the whole family's phone bill. Like there is no accountability here. Like, you know, like for a while we didn't even think, oh, you know, this is mom's phone bill, dad's phone bill, my phone bill, Everett's phone bill, Deborah's phone bill. Like it was all in one single account. There was no like, there was no accountability. There was no like separation. It was just all a mumbled bunch of junk. Like it was a joke. You know, it was, it was so disorganized. And because, you know, family plans are the way to save money. And then in the meantime, like you, you like you're not even like realistic with it and stuff like that. And so, so my homework for you, my wish for you, my command for you is to fulfill that promise you made to yourself, which is I'm going to have massive breakthroughs and transformation on the money front. And... I'm going to sit down and look at my money situation. I'm going to get my shit together when it comes to money. Because I said I would, and I am. So, gather all your stuff. Do what there is to do. Look at your bank statement. Look at every single credit card you have. Grab all the, grab all the, the things. If you download into an Excel version form, that's even better. You can sort the stuff, you can categorize stuff, you can look at it, but look at it. How much are you bringing in? How much are you spending? Where do you want to cut? Where do you want to invest? How can you budget to have a life coach? All of it, you know, and then be really real about it. Is this realistic? Can I do this? Is this sustainable? And if not, how can I generate more money? Or, you know, what things do I want to cut? Or um, maybe I don't need to be putting that much in this thing. You know, and maybe I don't need to buy this umbrella life insurance or this umbrella insurance because I think everything is going to hit the fan and I need some sort of, because you operate in some sort of realm or something like, look at it. Really, really look at it. Like, are you buying um, health insurance or eye insurance for your kid where it's covered under health insurance? Like, there's so many areas. Or do you also pay for Netflix and cable and like a version of TV or something and Amazon Prime and Prime TV or whatever, it, you know, like, like maybe you're paying like for the same stuff in three different ways and you don't realize it. And you're like, I don't know why I don't have any money. I just keep living paycheck to paycheck and I keep spending every single cent I have. And I don't, you know, like, oh, and I keep buying more boxes of applesauce from Costco. And every time I go, I spend like $300 and I go home like, oh, crap, I have um, three boxes of applesauce already, and I think the one I have at the bottom of the shelf is about to expire. <laughs> like, like we are so, like, irresponsible with our money. We don't keep track of the inventory of the stuff we have. We keep buying more stuff because we don't want to go look at it to see if we have it already, and then we're like, oh, well, we'll just buy it just in case, so we'll have it. Like, like we're so irresponsible with money, and when are you finally going to say, enough is enough? Like, I'm tired of living this way. I'm actually going to create my life for a change. I'm going to tap into my infinitely powerful self. I'm actually going to create the life I desire to live. And that starts with you being profoundly powerful with money. <laughs> you know, I said that I was going to start looking for high-end clients and then I wasn't doing anything. And so then I realized, well, if you wanted to be a high-end life coach, you would start expanding out your network to meet more high-end people, right? If you want Highland Park clients, you better go make some friends at Highland Park. You're not going to find them in the in uh, Garland, Texas or Richardson, Texas or something. You know, like if I want to go to La Jolla and have La Jolla clients, I better go meet the people in La Jolla. It's the same thing. If you want to 
transform your life with money, then go be with money, go look at the money, see what there is to see, and really transform it. You know, if you desire to live a life of abundance and complete freedom, then look at your areas of your life where you don't have abundance or you're not being completely free. And for me, for such a long time, at least 38 years of my life, it's been about penny pinching. It's been about feeling guilty about spending money. It's about not looking at my bank statements. It's about being in denial about my money situation. It was about not knowing where my money was going. It was about not knowing how much I was making. Like each review that came up, I'd be like, oh yeah, I think that's how much money I make. Like, you know, like get your head out of the clouds, get your head out of the sand, like stop it. Yeah, your parents fought about money and they fought about other stuff too. And yeah, you and your, your spouse and your family, they probably fight about money, but it's not about the money, right? We fight about anything. The, the truth is, when are you going to face the money? When are you going to face the numbers and see what there is to see and then transform it? <laughs> Deeply powerful. I'm not sure I like this angle on Instagram story, Sandy. Um, hi, runner boy. I miss you. Um, so, if you don't already know, <laughs> in case you can't tell, um, for a living, I'm a life coach. And it's funny because I had... I was talking to some people at Highland Park and they're like, what is a life coach? And I was talking to one of my great friends, Sandy, and she goes, have you thought about like how you share about what a life coach is? And usually I'll say, yeah, you know, you get like massive shifts in your life. You have massive transformation and you tap into your deeply fulfilling life. And as if there is something to change, as if there's something wrong with your life. I'm here to tell you there's nothing wrong with your life. There's nothing wrong with you. You're whole, you're complete, you're perfect just the way you are. The question is, how would you like access to the most powerful version of you? Meaning, having deep, powerful conversations with someone you love. If you're in a relationship, that person, that significant other, like your spouse, can, okay, I want you to close your eyes and imagine this, okay? Imagine you having a conversation with this person that you love. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. Okay, imagine, okay, imagine this. Imagine you are having this conversation with the person that you love. And, get this, you are talking, and for the first time, you're actually hearing what this person is saying, and they hear what you're, you are saying, and you're not interrupting them, you're not trying to be right, you are not saying they're wrong, you're actually listening to them fully from a place of love, you're listening with your heart and your soul, and you're listening to your significant other, and you realize, oh my gosh, we are having a profound conversation where there's not all this noise, there's not all this crazy dialogue, there's not all this chatter in my head where what is he thinking about me? And why he is so wrong. And um, gosh, like he's always attacking me or she's always attacking me or this, you know, like when is this thing going to end? Or like there's none of that resistance. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine talking to someone that you care deeply about with zero judgment and resistance and you're simply allowing the other person to speak and you're listening with your heart and your soul? And you're speaking from your heart and your soul. And get this. This is the great part. Are you ready? You are not holding anything back. Yeah. You're not holding anything back. And your other person is not attacking you. In fact, in fact, get this. They love you and respect you even more. And you're like, oh my gosh. Am I hearing this right, Tuan? You just said, my husband and I, we typically fight about money. We fight about everything, actually, because there's never enough of anything, and we're under a ton of stress, and there's not enough time for anything. You are telling me that it is somehow possible that I can have this amazing, powerful conversation with the person I love, and be myself fully, and say what I think and believe, and there is mutual respect and a being exchanged back and forth and me listening with my heart and my soul and him listening with his heart and his soul 
Like, you're saying that's actually possible? Yeah, I'm saying that's possible. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the way you live your life right now. But I'm saying that you have access to a whole other paradigm that you don't even know exists. And I had no idea it existed until I hired a freaking life coach. <laughs> and until you work with me and you hire me to be your life coach, you have no idea the life that you could live because it already exists. You simply are not shifting and tuning into that vibrational frequency, into that paradigm that already exists. So if what I said sounds amazing and you're like, okay, let's just test it on for size. Let's see what you're talking about here. That's cool. We can have a quick interview and we'll talk and you can see if I'm for you or you're for me. We can even meet up for lunch and then Get ready. Buckle your seatbelt. Get ready for an amazing ride because, my friends, I did not only come here to be a person that has massive breakthroughs in money and to have massive breakthroughs through my financial freedom, but to also, also to do my sole purpose, and that is to help others live a deeply fulfilling, infinitely powerful, soul elevated life <laughs> that's my life purpose that's what i do for a living that's what i came here to do <laughs> and i love it i love it so much it's it's so fulfilling so rewarding and i love it so much and i know it will be fun to work with you and it'll be transformative and i'm not gonna let you get away with anything slippery or um uh not do what you said you would do <laughs> um, and I'm not going to take a stand for you being a smaller version of yourself. That powerhouse that you are, that badass that you are, I know what you're capable of. I know who you truly are. You might not see it right now, but I'm here to remind you of who you are, and I will guide you there, and yes, you will see it. <laughs> My coach saw it in me, and I finally see it, and I see it in you, and you will finally see it. The question is, are you, will you do it? Will you step out on the limb and take the jump? <laughs> it takes something. It takes something for you to decide and commit that you're going to transform your life in an infinitely powerful way. It really does take something. So reach out to me. Um, I have a YouTube channel called Soul Elevated Life. I have a um, Facebook page. I have an Instagram page. I have a website. I have a YouTube channel. Check me out. Reach out to me. You have my contact information. We can meet for lunch if you're local and let's chat for a few minutes and see if we're a good match. And let's be on our way to living a deeply transformed life. Sending you love, light, and profound clarity. May you listen with your heart and your soul and speak from your heart and your soul and may your words from your heart and your soul resonate into other people's hearts and souls and help with their soul expansion, your soul's expansion and all that is aligned for you and the people you interact with. Sending you lots of love. I will see you tomorrow.